just been elected to a fourth, something that will never happen again. Because soon after he died, Congress decided no more Roosevelt's, no more. Because, and so what they did was they limited it to where a president could only serve two terms, which is kind of like telling, doing that to a Roosevelt is kind of like going up to a basketball player and saying, hey, you can't shoot three points anymore. Like it just ruins the fun of the game. So they don't even try anymore. No Roosevelt has ever run since FDR because two terms, fuck that, I wanted to go for five. In this family, we up the ante, we don't go down, fuck you. So FDR dies, and everyone is mourning his loss, but none more so than a guy named Joseph Stalin. Which is weird, because if anyone knows anything about Stalin, he's not really prone to emotion too well. Unless that emotion is, yay, killing people, let's go. That was Stalin's main activity during the course of his life. He was a great killer. Like, I'd say if anyone had a talent for killing, he's definitely it. Hitler can suck a dick. Hitler was good at organizing. This guy, he's just like, no, I want to watch. Let's do it. And he cried over FDR. Joseph Stalin cried over FDR. Little wheelchair man. That is how charismatic the Roosevelt family is, ladies and gentlemen. When you can win over the Iron Giant, you win. Thank you very much. I've been Arzager. I hope you guys have a good night.